I can't continue with this thing. I think that's going to fall, but... Ah, if it falls, it falls. Okay. Okay, thus said the Lord of Hosts. This is... Uh, the reason why I mean this is because it seems to be going along with uh, what's happened in the Iraq since... Ever since uh, Saddam invaded Kuwait. And now culminating with uh, ISIS in Mosul. That's why I'm reading this thing. I've been, I've been paying attention to Jeremiah 1551 since... Decades. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, but I'll, this, the scriptures have changed with their meaning over the times, and uh, it'll probably change it again. But right now, uh, I'll be reading them and uh, see what you think of how it could be for our time here. Okay, all right. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. And I think that happened with uh, ISIS taking uh, the Yazidis and the Kurds and things and the Christians. A lot of them um, don't know that they have Israeli blood in them due to the diaspora of uh, the Jews and Israelis out of Babylon a long time ago. I think they became mixed to the point where they have Israeli blood in them. You can have Israeli blood in you and not be Jewish, is what I'm, what, what's coming to Because only the tribe of Judah I know is Jew, Jewish. So, I'll continue here. All right. But I think a lot of Kurds, especially, have Israeli blood in them. <clears throat> their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall surely plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Well, it's definitely being disquieted now. To me, Babylon now is not just Iraq, but... Sunni Islam. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, and the Chaldeans are located in Iraq, saith the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon. Inhabitants of Babylon, again to me that would be Iraq. And upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon their liars, and they shall dote. A sword is upon their mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as women. And that seems to be unfulfilled about become as women, because Isis, to try to escape out of Mosul, dressed up in women's clothes to <laughs> try to keep from getting, you know, a sword upon them. Uh, they became as women, and during the Gulf War, when Saddam... Uh, uh, saw them giving up and stuff. They saw them kissing the Americans' feet, the Iraqis. And Imam had said, uh, Saddam said, gee, they're like women. They became like, came, became like women. I go, yes, yeah, Saddam, you're right. So that it's like it's happened more than once here. A sword is upon her treasures. It definitely was a sword upon her treasures. Those... During the Gulf War, actually during the, uh, the, uh, the, the second Gulf War, there was a sort of pond of treasures. They blew up that uh, uh, museum. And then, when ISIS came down, destroyed all those priceless treasures of uh, those images, of their, you know, gods and things. Destroyed them. They definitely put a sword to them, if you want to think of it that way. And they shall be robbed. And they were robbed uh, during the second Gulf War. Uh, in 2003, they were robbed in Baghdad and stuff. A drought is upon her waters, and they should be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. Now that used to, I think that's been fulfilled a long time ago. But if you if you uh, study Islam, <laughs> there's idols in Islam too. <laughs> well. Therefore, the wild beasts of the desert and the wild beast of the uh, the wild beasts of the lands shall dwell there. Oh, excuse me. The wild beasts of the desert with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there. And the owls shall dwell therein. And it shall be no more inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Now that could be talking about Babylon, the real ruins of Babylon. Or it could be a lot more um, creepier if that whole land becomes wiped out due to like Iran using nukes later on in the future 
because a blamer gave Iran 150 billion dollars. Let them have 150 billion dollars plus 24 days to hide nuclear access. So that tells me if Iran gets the bomb, it really could be desolate, like it's talking about here. Talking about Iraq. Or it could be symbolic, meaning that Babylon could also be Sunni Islam, and then when Sunni Islam is destroyed, it becomes a desolate religion. All right. Behold, the people shall come from the north. And to me, the people that come from the north are the Kurds. And a great nation. It could be America. Because right now, the Kurds are coming down against ISIS and Mosul with America giving them the air cover. And many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And the coast of like uh, Qatar and uh, Emirates and things like that. The, oh, I think the earth is not the whole earth, but the earth around uh, in, in uh, the Arabian Peninsula. Um, they shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel. They will not show mercy. They're, they will not show mercy to ISIS. That's how I see it. As their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses, everyone put in array like a man to the battle against the O daughter of Babylon. Now, this could have been also uh, fulfilled when uh, uh, the Mongols came down with their horses, too. So it could be a mixture of that and what's happening. Because it seems like Bab Bible prophecy has a tendency to repeat itself. So it, it fits through the, through the centuries. But for our time, I think it's talking about the Kurds and America giving them air cover to overthrow ISIS in Mosul. That's what I'm thinking. Mosul right now is like the last holdout of Babylon. Let's see, I better stop it here. Bye.